we have an individual that has made a difference in education of our students, whether it's within the city itself or the state, and someone who has been an asset to our community. And this year is no exception for that. Our guest speaker tonight is Dr. Hayden Franks. One thing about Hayden, or Dr. Franks, is that he's always committed, committed to our community. And it's always nice to have one of your old students come back and remind you how old you are. And so we sure appreciate Hayden coming back. Lane is, uh, Dr. Franks is married to Lynn, and he has two da a daughter and a son, Emily and Harrison. He practices dermatology in Little Rock in private practice there and also practices in Texas Camp. And he's an assistant clinical professor for the Department of Dermatology at the University of Arkansas Medical Sciences. Dr. Franks graduated from Magnolia High School. He received his BA degree from Hendrix, and then he studied medicine at the University of Arkansas Medical Sciences, and then he specialized in dermatology also at UAMS. He's also had worked along the way in London at Burbank College, and then he did his internist study also at UAMS. His membership of many organizations, the least, uh, just to name a few, is Fellowship of the Academy of Dermatology, the Arkansas Medical Society, the Texas Medical Society, and the Arkansas Dermatological Society. He has many committee memberships. They deal with church and also with community. Uh, he is on the UMS College of Medicine uh, Search Committee. He is president of his senior class when he's in med school. He was on the Physicians Council at Hendricks College. He served as vice chairman of the administrative board here in Magnolia at his church. He has been chairman of the administrative board also at our church and serves on the administrative board and also the Pastor Paris Relationships Committee with his church in Little Rock. He's also served on the Magnolia School Board. Honors, he has been given the Arkansas Academy of Family Physician Honorary Member, a Golden Apple Award from UMS Family Practice Residency, a Calvin Delilah Outstanding Senior Student Dermatology Award, He's also been very active in research. He's done research in basal cells for younger patients. He's had made presentations on basal cells uh, carcinoma. I've, I had that before. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he's also done it on the uh, leprosy, just to name a few. He's also published in uh, articles and journals. One is a journal of Democrat, uh, Demological surgery and oncology and infections urology. Uh, please join me in welcome tonight's speaker, Dr. Hayden Price. Life is going to be 
be difficult, and if you don't have faith in yourself that you can make it, it it's going to be a lot, a lot more difficult. If you understand that life's difficult and you don't expect it to be easy, it's going to be a lot easier just by believing that. We all like easy. We like easy tests. We like easy Saturdays. We like easy ball games. Life's not always easy. But if you believe in your God, you believe in yourself, you will be okay. Amen. Tip number two is take the stairs. <laughs> you can accomplish a lot in life if you have few goals and you have a lot of self-discipline. It's easy to take the elevator. It's easy to take the escalator. The next time you see, the, see a set of stairs, you ought to take them. Tip number three is thank you notes. Some of the most successful people that I know in this world still write thank you notes. Uh, modern technology is nice. Uh, we're able to use Twitter. We're able to use Facebook. Even old guys like me and Dr. Hayes can email. Uh, we can even, some of us text, Dr. Moore, you text? Okay. <laughs> but a well-written thank you note still says a lot. And you need to handwrite it. I think that will, will carry you a long way. We all have a lot of people uh, that we have in our lives to be thankful for. You've got your parents grandparents, you've got teachers, administrators, you've got teachers, you've got brothers, sisters, uh, and most of these have been uh, very good to us. Sometimes our parents give us a hard time, all right? But not that hard time. Uh, but you have people uh, that you can be, that you need to be thankful for. Um, it was the 12th century theologian John Salisbury said it best when he said, we are all but dwarfs and we sit on the shoulders of giants. We can see further than they can see. We can see more than they can see, not because we're tall, but because they raise us up. We need to think about who our giants are in our life, and we need to thank them. Tip number four is read. In my residency, we were required to read about 10,000 page, pages of very complex medical literature every year. That was after finishing medical school, uh, which was fairly rigorous in and of itself. So for about three years, I just didn't read. I was tired of reading. And then after a few years of not reading, I figured out I missed reading. And, and to keep up with the medical literature and to just keep up with uh, what was going on in the world, I remembered that I needed to read. And so I'd urge you to continue to read. Right now you have things that you have to read in your study, but find something that you like to read. I really don't think it's that important what you read, but I do think it's important that you do read. <laughs> Tip number five is focus. If you put a piece of paper on a hot asphalt on a hot summer day, it doesn't do much. But what would happen if you took a magnifying lens and you held it between the sun and that paper, does anybody know? It catch on fire. And the reason is focus can literally be power. And so if you have a dream that you can focus on, that's a very powerful thing. If you have self-discipline that uh, you can focus on, it's, it, it's impressive where it can take you. Everybody in this room knows that you all are scholars got the brains that you can do it. You can, you can literally achieve anything in this world that you want to do, but you just cannot do it if you don't have focus. Tip number six is give it your all. My seven-year-old son plays baseball. As his coach, I'm always telling him to swing hard. I tell him it's okay to strike out, but when he strikes out, I want him to do it with gusto. Because if he does catch the ball, he may hit it a long way. Always, there be times in life that you're going to swing and you're going to miss, and that's okay. But the way you miss really says a lot about you. So give it your all, regardless of what you're doing. Number, tip number seven is choose your words wisely. Psychologists say that the human mind can think seven times faster than we can speak. 
it's our job to try to determine all these things that we're thinking about, which of those things should we say. That's hard for me. I have two children. My daughter, I've never met a stranger. She talks a lot. Most of the time, she chooses her words wisely. Sometimes she does not. My son is very shy. He doesn't say much at all, but he listens very intently. What we find is when he does speak, we listen to what he says very intently. I think he's wise, even for seven, because he uses few words, but he uses them well. So choose your words wisely. Tip number eight is mentors. It's good to have a mentor who is someone that you look up to uh, that can be someone you lean on, especially in times of trouble. Somebody you can go to to ask for advice. Choose those people very, very wisely because they may look like a good mentor. They may not be a good mentor. But if you have a good mentor, that will really help you your quest for success in this life. You scholars need to realize that our younger students look up to you and they look to you as mentors and with that comes great responsibility. Tip number nine is lights, camera, action. And I like this one because it gets me a little bit fired up. I like action. You guys now have the lights on you. Uh, people have recognized you uh, for your achievements, and now it's time uh, to act. You move, you act, you can create change, and therefore you can win. Sometimes you're going to be scared, just do it scared. Sometimes you're going to be uncomfortable, just do it uncomfortable. Like the old Nike commercial says, just do it. Tip number 10 is community. As a group, I feel like all of us are blessed be, to be part of the Magnolia community. You all are really part of several, really many communities. Your family, community, your school, community, your church community, Magnolia as a community, your state, nation, and world community. Three of your communities have come together tonight uh, to honor you, your school, your family and your town and that's a great thing to celebrate once again we feel like you are our best and brightest and we uh, expect you all to do great things just remember that you all are representing us and we know you can do it you're magnolia scholars and we're proud of you thank you